A small wildfire near Keystone is nearly contained after just 24 hours. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Early this afternoon, a helicopter crew made five bucket drops on the Frey Gulch fire east of the summit shooting range outside of Keystone, and a ground crew kept that fire contained to less than one acre. Things are looking good. There's five firefighters on the crew working that fire. Um, they got up, got out there pretty early and were able to get line all the way around it. That was Bill Jackson with the U.S. Forest Service. The fire is burning on Forest Service land and threatens no structures. Jackson is confident it will be fully contained this evening. So we're hoping, I'm hoping, by the end of the day, uh, end of shift today when, when those firefighters go home, we'll be at 100% containment. Cool temps and high humidity helped crews put the hurt on that wildfire soon after it was reported yesterday afternoon. It's pretty well tucked in behind the ridge there, behind the, the landfill, so it didn't get wind put on it, which we've seen sometimes fires can grow at night. Local fire danger is moderate today, up from low this weekend. The town of Breckenridge just got the grant it needs for the electric bus fleet it wants. Haley Littleton with the town. We were excited to find out that we were awarded a million dollars towards two electric buses and some charging stations. That renewable transportation grant is one of the largest single awards in town history. The town is already upgrading its bus barn to support electric, but there is no timeline yet for when the buses will join the fleet. Demand is high right now. It's we can get our hands on them, you know, um, it kind of depends on the demand right now and where we are in line. The town leased two electric buses this past ski season, and the grant comes at a landmark time. Last year, the town system gave over 1 million rides. The town is already at 800,000 rides this year, and officials expect to set another record by December. Avalanche season is a few months away, but it's never too early to learn more about the science of snow. Colorado Mountain College partners with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center this week for a three-day mountain meteorology workshop at the CMC campus in Leadville. The course begins tomorrow and continues through Thursday. Attendees work in small groups to make a sample forecast specific to our neck of the Rocky Mountains. This is perfect for ski patrollers and avalanche techs. Sign up through avalanche.state.co.us. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Diamondbacks today. First pitch is 640. On Monday Night Football, the Jets play the Lions and the Raiders host the Rams. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, all Summit High varsity teams have the day off. And Sunday was the Fall Classic Mountain Bike Race in Breckenridge, the last race of the Summit Mountain Challenge Town Series, and Adam Zimmerman took first overall, winning the Men's Pro Open Division. Sierra Anderson won the women's title, while Jared Christensen won the stacked men's expert field, and Greg Greg Sagan won the men's sport division. Also this weekend was the Devil on the Divide 50K and 22K trail run outside of Idaho Springs, where Breck's Nikki La Rochelle finished third overall for the 50K. Dylan's Heath Kirshner finished top 10 overall for the men, and Frisco runner Lindsey Joyce took third for the 22K. Tyler Fox of Greenwood Village and L. Fox of Boulder won the 50K titles, setting course records. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.